everyone and welcome back to my channel pastor wife and mom if this is your first time here hello my name is wandy diaz and i'm here uh i don't know i just it's been a while since i've done videos and i'm trying to get back on track in the uh filming into filming so i decided that today would be a good day to record a little get ready with me so i'm dressed i'm getting ready to go to practice it is um let me see what time it is it's almost 6 30 and we have practice at 7 30 so i kind of gotta get quick pretty quick i gotta get ready pretty quick i can't even talk today so i thought it'd be nice to have you come along with me so i took a shower i washed my hair i haven't done anything to my hair but i'm gonna put right now i'm gonna put this the garnier fruit tea um, leave-in conditioner and it's in the scent coconut yeah coconut oil and coconut butter so and i just um kind of swirl it in my hands i just do about a nickel shape and then i just kind of tap it on my hair so that it's not too greasy and i put it on my ends most of it because my ends are the driest and then once all my ends have been coated then i just kind of pull it through the rest of my hair once it's done i brush it with a um regular um wet brush to try to brush your hair wet hair sorry i don't know what's happening today my words are tumbling all over the place i can't even talk okay so once i brushed my hair let me have a lot of knots in the back and i usually tend to do have a lot of knots and it's just because of my um because of my what do you call it thick hair so once that's done then i get ready and i start putting on my makeup and i hey by all means i am not a professional when it comes to makeup but i do love makeup so um this is just a routine i use and maybe one day i can do a little sit down and tell you with a little more time what are the products I love and what products work for me. So I'm gonna start, I already put on my moisturizer, which is the Belief Moisturizer, and I got this one at Sephora, and I love it. It's a gel-based, because I have combination skin, so it's gel-based. Oh, it smells amazing, it smells refreshing. So this is my makeup bag, and this is where take everything that I'm gonna put on today is gonna to be coming out up in here so I'm gonna start with my primer I usually use one of two primers either the Maybelline um, <clears throat> master prime or the Milani shield prime either one they're both this one's cream based this one's gel based it really um, doesn't matter they both work very well to me it all just depends what mood I'm in so I'm gonna use the Maybelline one today and I just use a very small amount and I kind of spread it all over my face. I have been wanting to buy the poreless um, primer so that um, I can minimize my pores. But for now, this has been working great. And it's a drugstore um, product, so it's pretty inexpensive. I believe at Walmart or at Walgreens is about seven bucks seven a little over seven dollars so i put that all over my face once i'm done with that then i start with my foundation and i am currently using the makeup forever matte velvet in shade number 35. so i give it a good shake and then i recently purchased the morphe y6 brush oh morphe y6 brush and so far i like it um there's a lot of mixed reviews with morphe because um they say the hairs come off but i've been using it for about two weeks now and it's been great so i kind of just tap it all over my face wherever i need foundation and then i kind of put it in a tapping kind of swirling tapping motion once I've tapped it where I want it then I just kind of swirl it I 
And yes, I haven't done my makeup since this morning. I just took a shower. I finished homeschool. I finished homeschool, which by the way, we are on week six and so far of our first year homeschooling. And so far it's been amazing. We've had, of course, our ups and downs like with everything, but um, girls are loving it and I'm loving it a lot too. I like the time I spend with them. I like knowing how they're learning and kind of getting to know their lane. Uh, they're telling you my words today are crazy. Their learning style has been um, pretty cool. So I'm learning a lot that I didn't know about them because being a working mom, you kind of just have the time to do a little bit of homework and that's it. Okay, so my foundation's done and I do it very um, natural. This is a foundation that you can build up if you want it to be um, full coverage. I think it's, you know, medium to full coverage. I like it um, very natural, but it's up to you. Right after I do this, I do my concealer. Right now, I am in between two concealers. I was trying the CoverGirl um, Clean Invisible Concealer, and I'm liking it, but not as much as my Age Wind Maybelline Concealer, which I use in Light Pale. I'm really loving this one because of my dark circles. The other one tend to look a little gray on me. Oh, my nose. So I put it there and then with the same brush, I kind of just tap it out to the sides. And because, you know, it's already almost the end of the night and I'm just going to practice, I use this as my eye primer as well. So I kind of spread it out into the eyes. And there we have it. My concealer is just about done. Then I like to set my concealer and I use two different powders to set my face and to set my concealer. I like to kind of bake my concealer in um, and I like to just set my face. So to bake my concealer in, I use, where is it? Excuse me, I'm a mess. I kind of just last minute decided to do this, but I use my um, Kat Von D loose powder in translucent and it comes with a little sponge so I kind of just tap it on there Ooh. and I tap it in the bottom just to bake that concealer in and then I tap it back in oh, you can see all the powder going everywhere and then I just kind of bake it in and I leave that powder there um, while I do my eyeshadow just in case I have any fallout and that's usually when I'm doing like really nice eyeshadow But because I am still putting eyeshadow today, I'm doing something very simple guys today So I'm gonna go ahead and use my butter bronzer by Physicians Formula I am in love with this. My mom bought this for me about I want to say two weeks ago and I am in love with it. It smells oh, it smells like summer so I put that on my cheek and my forehead, my tanning zone is where I put it at. And I kind of put it down here as well. Okay, and once I'm done with that, then I get a little bit of blush. I can't find my blush, I'll look for that later. So let's do eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I my favorite palette right now is the Sweet Peach palette. And I use it with my, oh my God, where's my brush? I'm telling you, I am a mess today. I even out my, okay, my MAC 224 brush. And it's like this. It's kind of old, I've had it for almost five years now. Look at these beautiful colors in this palette. It's amazing. So I'm gonna go in with the white peach right up here. I'm gonna go in with that one first. 
And I'm gonna put it all over my eye. Sorry, I'm using the viewfinder from the camera to see. I do have a mirror in front of me, so I'm not gonna look like a clown by the time I get out of here. But I just put it kind of all over my eye. I hope you guys can see. One day I'll do a little more sit down chit chat. Um, everyday makeup for me. And right now because I want to keep it natural as a transition shade, I'm just going to use my butter bronzer. And I just kind of swirl my brush in it, tap it and just do it on the crease. And swirl it again and do it on the crease of my eye. I hope you guys can see that. And just blend it in really good. So I want it to look as natural as possible. Then I'm gonna go in with this kind of um, pinkish color right here. It's called Georgia, I believe. Yeah, Georgia, right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that just in the bottom of my eyelid. Just right there. Then I'm gonna go with a little darker brown. This, um, Charmed, I'm sure. This one right here. Oh, you can see me. Hello. Right here. I'm going to go in with that one. Just a little tap. And I'm just going to leave it in the outer corner. Right here. And then once that's in the outer corner, then I just kind of blend it in with everything else. So outer corner. I hope you guys can see that outer corner and then once that's blended in then I'll just put it all the way through my crease to blend it in and then I'll get that lighter color again that um, white peach right up here that's the most one I use actually and I'm gonna put it again on the top right on the top there we go. We're done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to put my brush where it goes so I can find it next time. And then I'm going to go in with my Stay Matte from Rimmel. And I'm going to go in with my powder brush. I'm just going to kind of swirl it through. And I'm going to um, set the rest of my makeup and ooh, my hair. Take all of that loose powder I have on there before I put my blush. Once that's done, I'm going to do my um, highlighter. I'm currently in love with the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighters and this is in color Precious Petals. Let me show you the inside what it looks like. Look how beautiful. So I take it with my Morphe G35 brush and I just put it right here. And I mean, it's not too intense, but it's really nice, it looks really nice. And I can swash it for you so you can see. How beautiful that looks. Look at that. For my eyebrows, I currently use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit and I use it in shade four. So I'm gonna go in and I like it because it's double ended so it comes with the brush and then it comes with like a slanted, I don't know if you can see it, but I need the mirror for this. So I kind of do a line. And then here I just kind of spike it through. I lift you guys up because I need to see myself in the mirror. There we 
we go, and then I just brush it. Excuse my wet towel back there. So I always do the line all the way across because I do have hairs, I just have a lot of bald spots. There we go, then we brush it off. And eyebrows are done. Eyebrows are done, my bronzing is done. I forgot to get my blush, but I'll get it in just a minute. Um, I'm gonna put my mascara on, and right now I am loving this mascara. It's the Voluminous um, Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And I am in love with it because it looks like you have falsies on and you really don't. So I'm gonna curl my lashes i always do this because mine sticks straight across so there we go so i kind of curled them a little bit now i'm going to go in with the mascara so i'm going to get a little up close and look how the wand is so it's thicker in one side thinner in the other and it goes in really good but you'll see how beautiful they end up looking let me get a little mirror because it's hard to use the viewfinder when you're trying to get it done especially mascara when you gotta get so close to the eye so I usually do one to two swipes depending how Good they look, but you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Look how beautiful. I hope you guys can see that. Let me get a little bit more on my wand. And now we're going to do the other eye. And my blush, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. Uh, what brush? This one. I'm gonna just use a little bit of this pink eyeshadow right here in the middle. Kind of mix them both together. Kind of put some there very lightly. I'm not gonna put too much. Ah! So my blush, my highlighter, my mascara, everything is all done. And I'll link below everything that I used for my makeup look today. Um, lips. What do I do with lips? I always have I always have my lipsticks in my purse. So I always tend to do my makeup upstairs and my lipstick is downstairs. So what I normally do, because um, my lipsticks are downstairs is I use a little bit of petroleum jelly or Vaseline on my lips and I just and I love doing this because I love my eyeshadows so I grab my eyeshadows and I'm gonna grab this color right here called Bellini I think it is let me see yeah Bellini and I'm just gonna rub it with my finger. Get some on my finger and tap it on my lips. And guess what? You have a, a whole bunch of new shades for lipstick when you do this. And you can do it with chapstick too if you don't like to use petroleum jelly, but that's it. That's my lip color guys so this is the finished look my makeup is done my hair is done and now off to church praise and worship practice today so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up so i can do more videos like this and please don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below 
and checking out that um, little bell so that you can get notified every time I post videos. Well, till next time, remember you're beautiful, you're unique, and there's nobody else like you. God bless. Bye-bye.